Hey, what's going on, Guardians? Nem with Planet Destiny here. And it is Tuesday, January 25th, 2022. With it, another week of uh, Destiny has come by. Unfortunately, no new story beats uh, yet, but uh, all of our pinnacle sources have reset if you're still grinding for that pinnacle power. Uh, starting from right to left, we have our Legends tab with Vault of Glass being reset for pinnacle. Uh, your three matches of Gambit with a bonus rep to Infamy this week. So if you're still hunting the ornament for the Ascendancy Rocket Launcher, this is the week to do so. Uh, as far as Vanguard goes, we have our three Vanguard Strikes. And this week we have the Arc Singe um, modifier. As far as the dailies go is Brawler and Blackout. For the Nightfall, we have the Devil's Lair for your uh, pinnacle and you have your uh, grandmaster nightfall as well but you do have to complete it at a hundred thousand k or higher for your pinnacle drop uh, as far as crucible goes this week we have control and our weekly rotator is going to be team scorch now complete three matches of either team scorched control rumble or elimination for your hot and spicy pinnacle and finally, over on Europa, we have the Safeguard Simulation, and the Empire Hunt is going to be the Technocrat this week for your Pinnacle Drop. Over at the Helm, we have the Shattered Realm deb Debris of Dreams, and over in Eternity, we have the um, complete the 250,000 uh, Dares of Eternity for your Pinnacle Drop. As far as the Legend goes for this week's we have round one hive round two vex and final round valis to arc so there are your contestants this week for the dares of eternity and of course you also have the grasp of avarice dungeon for a pinnacle drop over on the tangled shore we uh, also still have the presage exotic quest which get to it if you haven't done it already but you do uh, need to own uh, the season of the hunt i believe this came out for um, in order to uh, be able to participate in this uh, quest for your Dead Man's Tale and ex uh, your Pinnacle. As far as over on the EDZ, we have Harbinger as well, which will net you Hawkmoon and a Pinnacle drop. And this one's also going away, so don't forget to complete that one. Uh, but I believe that covers all of our exotic not exotic all of our pinnacle sources as far as eververse goes our weekly offerings for silver is the drone flight emote which i hadn't seen this one before until a friend of mine uh used it and it's really neat <laughs> you control a little uh hologram ghost which is pretty cool i like it a lot uh we have the pink mist uh, malfeasance ornament and I believe this will be going up for Bright Dust, I believe, next week, if I'm not mistaken. But I believe this will go up for Bright Dust relatively soon. So the Obdurate Economy, uh, exotic ship. The Mud Caked Monstrosity, exotic sparrow. Friends There's the uh, green trail for you guys. And let's go ahead and claim our Bright Dust. And this week we have the Curtain Call emote for uh, silver as well. Over on the Bright Dust section, we have the Ripe Sniff emotes, which I hate it. <laughs> kind of gross. But moving on from that, we have the Game Ghost shell. And uh, if you take a look at the back here, it's got a, uh, a Destiny 2 cartridge, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, we have the seventh column Ghost Projection, for those of you who like to use projections. And as far as the shader goes, it's the Lilac Bombast from the Season of the Forge. I believe this is from. Now over on our Bright Test section, we have the second line uh, multiplayer emotes. So go ahead and pick that up. And uh, Warlocks, we have our Phoenix Fall uh, ornament, which is possibly one of the best ornaments that has uh, come out in a really, really long time. So this one's up for uh, 1500 Bright Dust. So don't forget to pick that up this week. Um, for the ghost shell, we have the multi-band shell. The ship is going to be the Tachyon 4. Uh, the Sparrow is going to be the Magneton Thrust. There's the trail for that. And the Devil's Advocate for the uh, Devil's Ruin. 
As far as shaders goes, we have the Soros Modular Shine. Uh, Calco's Finery. Bruised Blush. And Polished Sea Stone. Uh, for the Transmit, we have the Vex Gate Arrival. Catch Flight Entrance. And the Ossified Entrance. That covers Eververse this week. Uh, real quick, so for Hunters and... Um, and Titans, you guys are getting a different ornament. Um, so for Hunters, I believe it's Arthur's Embrace, which is going to be... Oh, can't even see them from here. So for Hunters, it's Arthur's, and for Titans, is for Curious of the Falling Star. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here what uh, the Gunsmith brought for us this week. So starting off, we have the Night's Watch with Threat Detector and Multi-Kill Clip, uh, Corkscrew and Polygonal Rifling, Alloy Magazine, Flared Magwell, and uh, Handling Masterwork. Uh, this is a, okay. It's uh, kind of decent for PvE. I would recommend picking this up. The Lonesome with Rapid Hit Multi-Kill Clip, Ricochet Rounds, Corkscrew Rifling, and uh, Arrowhead Break with a range. Uh, masterwork, definitely uh, this is a good pickup. So if you don't have a solid sidearm for PvP, this is a good roll. The Ikelos SMG with Extended Barrel, Hammer Forged Rifling, Appended Mag, Alloy Magazine, Dynamic Sway Reduction, and Surrounded. Uh, also pretty solid for PvE. So this one brings a Handling Masterwork. Go ahead and pick this one up. The Seventh Seraph Sidearm with Extended, Small Bore, Appended Mag, Alloy Magazine, Auto Loading Holster, Surrounded, and a Range Masterwork. Personally, I'm not too crazy about this sidearm. Um, lightweight frames aren't my thing for when it comes to the sidearms i personally prefer precision um so i don't know this is a skip for me but you know to each their own uh the memory interdict grenade launcher with countermass linear compensator high ordinance explosives or explo explosive ordnance sticky grenades surplus and chain reaction this is the one time that i will say uh, go ahead and pick this up because this looks really, really fun for PvE, especially with Chain Reaction. So if you want to see explosions everywhere, uh, this is actually a solid buy. I am actually going to buy this one. And finally, we have the Eternity's Edge Warlock Sword with Hungry Edge, Honed, and Tempered with Infinite Guard, Energy Transfer, and Assassin's Blade. Uh, this is a huge, huge skip. Um, but that is going to be it for us this week, Guardians, in terms of resets. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys get some sweet, sweet rewards in the Nightfall this week. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.